distance. What is going on? No! 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 Let me choose this one. Oh my god. Okay, we're going out. Wow. That was some timing. Right as I was about to form a new hypothesis, the proof connecting it all suddenly came to me. It was right outside. It had gotten really dark. There were no lights anywhere. Yeah, we're in the middle of nowhere with no lights. The darkness was fear. Unperceived, unknown, dangerous, scary. Leaving this place was dangerous. And dangerous equals scary. Equals scary equals scary equals scary. Scary things were scary no matter how much logic you applied. But I couldn't discard my desire to get to know the fear and conquer it. No, you idiot! What are you doing? No! I opened the door and stopped in place. Night was an absolute darkness. No matter how dark or cloudy it was, the sky always gave some bit of light to us. Oh yeah, I forgot about the moon. My bad. However, I came to understand that it could be hard to see even if there was light. Everything I saw was covered by a dense mist. Combined with the pale moonlight, it made the area seem milky. It made it hard to get around. Regardless, I couldn't ignore the scream. No, you could have just ignored it, man. I know, it's probably a horrible thing to say, but... I think you should have just followed what Chimi said. There was something beyond this veil. Hey, hey, you, Tanaka. Hello, welcome. Um, things are getting pretty, pretty tense right now. There's a killer on the loose, and I decided to keep moving forward because uh, I'm insane, apparently. Unless my ears were deceiving me, the screen belonged to a woman and had come from the right. I'm assuming it's a journalist. That's the only way. I couldn't let myself think that. Or it could be Chimmy, which would be very horrible. <sighs> or rather, I didn't want to think that. That unknown was scary. Personally, I'd found that my... Personally, I'd found that principle made my life really easy. I had more than enough fear from those which were directly threatening my life. I really didn't want to have the fear of losing someone as well. Yeah. Change your line of thought, Haruaki. Solving the mystery might save someone. Two birds with one stone. But I'm an outsider. I have no idea what's going on. I began walking faster. Oh god. That doesn't sound like Chiemi though. Another scream. It was close. I realized I had to find a way to protect myself. I was unarmed, so I looked around for anything I could use as a weapon. I felt around to see if there was any branches or anything. Sadly, all I felt was grass. I went deeper and searched the ground itself. Soon I felt something hard. It was a rock. Maybe the old lady? Maybe. But uh, it sounds more of a, like the... Who was it? Who was it? The journalist lady. A moment of digging later, I took it in hand. It was a bit smaller than my hand. I almost teared up at how useless it seemed, but it was better than nothing. Yo, go bop that dude. I looked at the base of my feet and saw the grassy ground. I could easily move forward if I first checked the ground using my feet. And since I might have been close to the danger, I had to focus on what was ahead too. I'd recognize the danger and, if possible, get rid of it. I concentrated entirely on that and stepped forward. I couldn't hear the screams anymore. But I could hear other things. A wet sound. And the sound of something cracking. It filled my mind with countless things I didn't want to imagine. Yeah. Uh, is it you? Can't see. Oh no, wait. Sorry, sorry. Even so, I kept walking forward, forward, until I saw it. Oh. Um, they weren't joking about the wolf, guys. My hypothesis was nothing but delusions, unless I'm delusioning right now. The truth was truly something you had to see for yourself. But, but why? Why was this so scary in spite of being true? I mean, I'd be kind of freaked out if I saw something like this. It wasn't supposed to exist. It couldn't exist. After all, it was a wolf with a humanoid body. And there's no such thing as werewolves. 
So it's a werewolf. The next morning... Oh? In a paddy field in Fujiyoshi, Yasumi's the third block. Someone discovered a thoroughly mangled corpse. The clothes nearby led the discoverers, discoverers to conclude that it was the traveler. Me! Haruaki Fusaishi. No, wait, who's the other lady, though? Strangely enough, I could perceive this particular moment. Yo, no, I'm not dead, wait! No, that's Chiemi, no, wait! What the fuck? What is going on? It was finished off by the girl. What the fuck is going on? Chimmy, what the hell? The last thing I heard was that I'll hang the wolf? What? What the fuck is going on? Wait, huh? What? Unveiled arrival. Obtained key number two, Werewolf and Resurrection. You can view it in the keys list. The route unlocked by this key is represented by the same number in the scenario chart. So, um, I guess that's the first ending, y'all. Um, Jesus. Okay. Game over. Bad ending number two. Watch Hint Corner? Um... Yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. What's the hint? Yo. Oh, hey. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> What's this dude doing? Ah, uh, yes, of course. The insignificant interface character. character. <laughs> Okay, so we're safe here. Alright. Let's get down to business. To defeat the wolf. Okay, thank you. Okay, this is the tutorial, y'all. Um. <laughs> You wish you were the sheep? <laughs> Yo, let's go. Yo, I wish I was the sheep. Look, he's smoking, he's just chilling, vibing, floating around in the middle of nowhere. I mean, yeah, I didn't have any choice. Oh. Okay. Let's review the structure. Okay. For yourself, you will definitely die in Raging Loop. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, so we gotta go through a lot of the. A lot of the different endings, which I assume will just die, and then we'll get the keys to choose the other options. Death is unavoidable. Well, yeah, I should have known. Oh, message retracted. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry, I think it might be the mods. This is like Zero Escape plus Higurashi, damn. Yeah, it kinda is. Retain his memories. Huh, interesting. I wonder why he can do that. If he gets stuck, try dying. Okay. Hmm. Oh, so there's multiple bad endings. Okay. Okay. Toilet Man's End. You need key two to avoid it. You already obtained key two. Okay. 
夜で歩いたら死ぬってほど、不採し春枠は身をもってこの手の一度つまずく系の死亡エンドは、今後も何回かあったら、そこんとこは承知しといてくれな。一方、キーを手に入れるのがずっと先になることもあるキーが手に入るときは赤文字ででっかく表示されるから。Okay, thank you for the tips. この後だが、Sent back to the starting point. With him on his bike. Oh, we're gonna start at the very beginning? Use the scenario chart to jump ahead. Okay, we're gonna do that right now. Okay, nice. So we can just skip that option. Hell yeah. With the Q file indentments, even right now. Open the menu. Where's that? Chart? Dense mist? Is dense. Hey, what? You could open the menu and press the chart button. Or you could just go here and press dense mist. Oh! And here. Okay, okay. Nice. Very nice. That's the key to completing Raging Loop. Incidentally, this marks the end of two dense mists. The so called prologue is over. We're done with the prologue, my dudes. Hell yeah. The game's first main route, the Yomi, will begin. Okay. Uh-huh. I won't be getting key one for a long time. Okay. Thank you for the tip. I guess that's the true ending. There's some sorry. Okay. Bye bye. Bye, sheep. What the fuck? Help. Oh, what the fuck? That's creepy, dude. <laughs> Yo, what? Oh, are we back? Where are we? Oh, okay, we're back. We're back at the start. Okay, so we go here. And go here. Okay. 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 That's key 20. Key 2 unlocks this one. Okay, now we can keep still. Okay. What was that? It sounded like someone's life was in danger. It meant something dangerous was nearby. Wait, I couldn't be rash. The world didn't have many things that logic couldn't explain. Like the existence of murderers, but... Then I saw the source to the scream myself. It was nothing but a source of fear. Okay. I reached to open the door, but something stayed my hand. It was my promise to Chiemi. Yes, believe in Chiemi. But that scream just now was very real. It wasn't normal. I had to assume the situa situation was dangerous, and maybe I could help it. If I went out, but that meant endangering myself. I was no saint, and I had no plans to rectify that. If there was something that could get me to walk out, it would be curiosity. My curiosity had won over many dangers thus far, but right now it was weaker than my fear and risk of death. Why? Because I already knew. Huh. So he knows. Shit, what the hell were those what were these memories? It wasn't a premonition, a dream or anything else that big. 
my brain recognized it as something I'd experienced. But how? Huh, I wonder why. I wonder how they could explain that in the game. After all, I was still alive, and the time from those memories has yet to come. Was I a precog or something? By god, I swear I'd never experienced anything like this before coming here. And why did the me memory come back to me at this particular moment? Regardless, that overwhelming fear and the pain and death that followed were exactly what waited for me if I opened the door. I couldn't feel more certain of that. The thoughts rendered me unable to move, immobile. I stood still completely certain that I'd lost my chance to leave. I wasn't childish enough to sneer at selfish decisions, but this still didn't feel good. Not to mention I was upset at myself for not being able to act like me and just run out simply because I was curious. I didn't even feel saved. Until that moment. Suddenly the door began to shake. This place had a handle on the outside and someone was pulling on it hard. Oh, so I was thinking really deeply until, until the morning, I guess. There was a lock, sure, but there was only so much it could take before it broke. I prepared to pull it from inside, but... Oh, we don't know if it's still the night? What would happen if I did? Whatever was outside would instantly know I was here. Even if I protected the door, though. Thing had lots of other ways of hurting me. But what if it didn't know about me and was just weirded out by this randomly locked toilet? What if I didn't show a hint of fear to what it was doing? Would it just leave? I chose to just wait and see. Once again, someone pulled the door, shaking the structure as a whole. I gulped down a scream and focused on the lock. If it broke, it'd be over for me. Over, as in I'd be dead. That was that memory that told me. I was powerless back then, and even more so now. So you may have tried to fight back, what will work? I'd heard the teeth were the hardest part of the human body, so maybe I could bite? Yeah, I'd tear whatever it was apart with my teeth. I'd bite it to death. I gathered my wits in killing intent. Grinding my teeth. Oh. I glared at the door. How long had it been? The sound suddenly stopped. For all I knew, it might have been a ploy to make me drop my guard. I'd slowly count to 500. If nothing happened in that time, I'd assume it went away. There were no screams or attacks after that. But the silence around me improved my perception and I heard strange noises every now and then. Breathing, growling, claws on the ground. Basically, I felt a beastly presence. Oh, so it's he's still there. So that thing actually existed here. Was it what the, what the mists brought here from Saranaga? The wolf is coming. Did they all know about this? Shit, I couldn't learn anything in a place like this, and not knowing things scared me. Trusting my prescience, or deja vu, or whatever it was, I chose to just stay in quiet and wait. I'd found out everything tomorrow anyway, so I just had to make it through the night and then talk to Chiemi. And if it was something I couldn't solve, I'd just run away. Thankfully, my bike repairs were going well, but I'd be leaving even if it didn't work. I'd walk to Kami Fujiyoshi and if I had to. Unlike Yasumizu, they might have had reliable means of transport. For now, I had to stay awake and make it through the night. Yeah. All right, January, February, March, April, May 13. I never like seeing night gradually turn brighter as the morning arrives. Yeah, me neither. Feels really weird. It always made me feel like shit, like I just done something harmful both for my body and as a human being in general. Yeah. I found it natural to spend the night asleep and welcome the morning well rested and with a smile. I never expected to feel so much gratitude for the morning light leaking through the door of an outhouse. It felt like the beasts had been out and about the whole night. Naturally, the high humidity here made my clothes all wet and sticky. It was unpleasant, but even trying to move them and make it 
more comfortable for myself. Felt like a matter of life and death. Maybe it was a good thing I couldn't relax, but hell, it was exhausting in more ways than one. When I heard Chiyomi shout Haruaki-san in the distance, I was so overcome with relief I almost fell to my knees. If this turned out to be a trick, then I opened the door to see some wolf with a chewed color in its mouth. Lunging for my throat, I just give up and let, have, let it have me at this point. With that in mind, I opened the door. I expected to see the same picturesque village I'd seen yesterday. So what I actually saw shocked me pretty hard. What? What the hell was up with this thick mist? I couldn't see shit. It was like the entire area was consumed by it. Did someone line every inch of this place with dry ice or something? I still can't see- oh, the mist is still here. I could hear Chiemi but not see her. I heard a wet sound and finally saw a silhouette within the mist. I walked up and saw exactly what I expected, a girl struggling to free one of her legs stuck, stuck deep in the paddy field. I see, we're still joking around. I tugged her hand and braced my legs. That was enough to help her, but she lost her balance and... Despite how close we were now, this wasn't the least bit romantic. I think it's pretty cute though. What do you guys think? Anyway, I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, me too. I definitely remember the time where I was far from alright though. And you guys decided to kill me. Ah, that was kind of weird. I had no idea what that was about, so I didn't see any reason to mention it. Chimi's expression immediately darkened. She clearly knew what I was referring to. I think she's sketchy as hell. You think so? She might be. She might be pretty sketchy. Yeah, we don't know what she was doing when we first met her. Like, why was she there? それは。え、知ってるの？I don't know. I think I trust her though.来て。どうせいつか嫌でも見る。But she's definitely hiding something. Jamie gave me her hand. I took it, but I didn't feel the least bit excited about this. She led me down the path to the school dorm. Ah,夫妻さん。Okay, so these two are still okay. Okay. The way you said that makes it seem like this happens frequently. Did she... Was it her? Yeah, okay. it's not... It's not her then. So, かみなさん僕より先に動いてたみたいだな。逆に良く耐えれたな。寝てたの？寝られるか。いつ出ていいかわからないから、ずっと起きて待ってたよ。チエミちゃんに呼ばれてようやく。え？起きてたんですか？い
suspicious. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, I don't like this. This little kid. I don't like this little kid. The invisible and unknown were way scary than anything else. Not to mention I could already smell something foul. I lightly moved them aside and walked up to the so-called scene. So it happened here by the dorm? There was a corpse. It was in such a horrible state it was hard to recognize it was human. I imagine this was what you would have gotten if you overturned a butcher's cart. That was how thoroughly the victim was disassembled. Also, the butcher would have had to deal in entrails. Enough of that comparison. Straining my eyes to look through the thick mist, I could actually make out some human parts within the vast sea of blood, or mountain of death. Hands, thorn clothing, hair, and a shoulder bag. How professional, she kept hold of her interviewing tools even while running for her life. Didn't do her odds of survival any favors though. So the first death is the... Seems it's, it's the... It's that lady. Yeah. Despite the body state, it wasn't hard to tell that the victim was Hisako Mamiya, the small-time food journalist. Yeah. That thing. Did it come to me once it was done murdering her? I think so. Shimi was standing a short distance away, looking at nothing in particular. Hmm, you're used to this, sir? そっち系の学部だっけ。えっと、まあ、一応医学系。I am a detective. I crouch down and put my hands together. And grimacing at the harrowing reek of blood, innards, and especially digested food, I brought my face closer. Perhaps I could learn something from this? I could even... I could, even if it wasn't much. This corpse wasn't split into pieces. The limbs were still connected, but they were folded in an unnatural way and looked really flattened. They were either crushed or bent with no regard to bones or muscle position. And then her whole body had been torn apart. The innards partic particularly badly damaged. The words wolf down felt like the best way to put it. Huh. I found it hard to describe. This wasn't my job, so there wasn't much I could tell about it without touching it. I had an urge to add that this seemed inhuman. But I kept myself from saying that. Hmm. The police. And everybody seems to think that's not a good idea. It said something any good citizen would, but for some reason they didn't seem to agree. Haruaki what is going on? どうしてバイクもあるし、この人たちが乗ってきた車だって。とにかく、不採しさんで生存者は全員見つかったはずだから、一度食堂に移動しましょう。Alright, so Come on, Shimi, you promised me you'd explain everything. Oh my god, it was the first time Shimi had acted so harsh with me. I was pretty irritated myself, but it must have been worse for them. They actually had info on what was happening here. That's true. 
Although, I would want to know more. Chime said nothing more and just silently walked off. I followed after her. God damn it. When we reached the plaza, I instantly understood what she'd said about evacuating. The bike and the van were both completely destroyed. No! His hard-earned money! No! The ladder was in a particularly bad state. The front window was broken. All four tires were flat, etc. My bike was on its side. Its front fork was broken. Well, it was basically scrap metal now. Fuck. There was a rock right next to it. Guess we had our weapon. And... There were more remains inside the van. Was it dude? It looked like an enormous mountain of flesh and bone. If it if I didn't know about Yudai Hashimotoshi, I'd I'd have assumed there were two or three corpses here. So it is him. So both of them died. <laughs> Hashimoto san? Chiemi slowly nodded. And alright, two deaths, deaths already. I knew we'd lost not only two lives, but any means of transportation as well. She pointed at a wooden electrical pole. The line was dangling, torn apart with no hope of repair. Huh. I took out my own phone. It worked, but the battery was almost dead, and like before, it was out of range. The situation had become even harsher than before. So we basically have no contact to the outside world. Chimmy walked a few steps away. I followed after. There was a large boulder. It was tall enough to reach an average roof, and there were drawings on it. Crimson symbol of some sort. Huh. What did it represent? At first it looked like an incoherent mess of lines. However, I soon realized there was a pattern. Yeah, kind of looks like eyes. Crazy eyes. It felt like the calling card of some street gang. From what I could tell, the base was a warped diamond shape with a spiral inside. Hmm. There were two of them. They seem to be drawn in blood. That was nearly as disturbing as the bizarre shape. There's two wolves. So that's what it means. One sh one of these things means one wolf. So there's two wolves. What does that mean? We have to fight? Chimi made quite a declaration, yeah. What does that mean? Apparently, the settlement had been invaded by something malicious, and it was intelligent enough to get rid of all, it of all means of escape or contacting help. I could and I could understand that much, but it didn't make sense to me. This wasn't some isolated island. There was the cliff, sure, but you could still go down to Satanaga or go to Kami Fujiyoshi. I'd ask about the next time I had a chance. Hmm. ま、気にしないでいいよ。Mm, he is acting pretty calm. きっと。他の5年配方はもっと先だってるだろうし。Yeah, what am I hiding? What are you hiding, mister? えっと、そうでなきゃ何だと。なんか異様に落ち着いてない。まるでこういう室に慣れてるみたい。what is this dude up to? Hmm. He didn't even answer the question. The small dining hall was jam-packed with people. Oh, 
大変なことになったみたいですねごめんなさいねちょっと湯飲みが足りなくてい,いえお構いなくてめえがやったのかあ so they think I'm the wolf? The younger Oribe boy menaced me. Yeah, yeah, the Nayo. Do you see so Narno? Fight the Kurunjana Yoshibo Yamero. Yo, let's go. Let's go talk to me. Talk to me, need up the Ikitadano. Oh, it's a guy. Man, I hadn't expected to be cheated this badly. Then again, there are two deaths, and I'm just an outsider. それにここじゃ迷惑だなあかおりさんあのねたくみさんあのとにかく落ち着いて穏やかにね大丈夫だちゃんと話は聞くナムシンナイダイゴンゲンナムシンナイダイゴンゲンやめえたいば縁起でもねそれより集会堂の鍵はどこだ上松様に預けたわよ。二三日前、お団を直すんじゃって。上松。姉ちゃん、いいか。取って。Oh her。参ります。I'll go and get it. That was the woman, Uematsu. So she wasn't just an illusion. Uematsu sama was her name. I thought our eyes met for a second, but she just walked by me. That girl was here too. And this dude is here. Deeper in there was Kiyonosuke no Satoshi, clearly irritated by something. And the old man. And there was the old man who cried wolf, just like yesterday. It was hard to tell where he was looking at, let alone thinking. They were the only ones sitting, by the way. The others were all just idly standing around. みなさん、戻りました。はるちゃん、こっち。あ、she's she's pretty shaken up by that one. The three students were here. With them, the settlement's entire population had gathered. As for the outsiders, the journalists were dead, while I and the mysterious girl had survived. I didn't know the circumstances, but they probably had their reasons to be suspicious of me. Suddenly, Chimmy did something unexpected. Rikako san, just wait a minute. Oh, Rikako. Her name is Rikako Uematsu. She stopped the girl who was about to go out to get some key. Each villager seemed to call her differently, so I didn't know what to call her myself. This guy, Saishi Haruaki san, was in a bike accident in Saranaga. Ah, hello. An introduction now? Why? Kuchira, Uematsu Rikako san. Mawaru ni sue de Uematsu. Mezrasi de show. Kami Fujiyoshi no choja. Uematsuke no gen toshi sama. So she's from Kami Fujiyoshi. Uematsu. Rikako to. Moshimas. Omishiri o kikudasai. Oh. So she was like a local celebrity, huh? Like Kiyonosuke, she's Nasato fan. あとそっちのがメイコちゃん。名前がわかんないからそう呼んでるだけだけど。ああ、she's giving sheep noises。very suspicious。こんにちは。よろしくね。the girl they called Meiko trembled a bit and sprinted through the crowd to hide behind Rikako Uematsu。で、なんだっつうんだ、チエミ。私は。ふさいしはるあきさんを宴に呼ばないことを提案します。What? I felt a wave of perplexion go through the room. ジー、買って行ってんじゃねえ。What is going on? The feast? そいつが怪しいか怪しくねえかを宴で決めるんだろ。The feast is there to help us decide to be shady? Their expressions were stern and their words harsh. 違います。私は。彼がそもそも宴に参加する資格がないと言ってるの。タクミに。何言ってんだチエネ。そいつが一番怪しいっつーの。イオシ君、宴の支度した？はあ？し、した。しなかった人いる
How was I supposed to react? No one else was raising their hands, but I had no idea what they were talking about. The other two didn't prepare for the feast were taken by the corruption. Okami-sama, as in wolf-sama, why the reverence? And what was she even talking about? Do they worship that wolf thing? あんた、ほんまに支度をせんと無事だったんかね。息を切りする。ちなみに支度って。みそぎ、物言い、体を清める一つの建物に一人で閉じこもる。眠って夜明けを待つ。この三つ。Oh, the place got all noisy. They probably didn't expect that answer. Tai-san sounded genuinely puzzled. Rikako-san, how do you feel? I had no idea what kind of dynamics were at work here, but Shimi asked for Rikako, Rikako Uematsu's opinion. I am a friend. Huh. Her words created even more commotion. So you got this. Chemi, what got them? What are they talking about? <sighs> it was roundabout, but in the end, once again, the one to make the final call was Kanzo Makishima. Nani? Oh my god, glaring directly at me, the old man walked through the gathering and approached me. Seeing him from up close, I realized just how big and burly he was. It's pretty typical of someone living in a place like this, but it felt out of place on someone his age. His expression displayed both an inner strength to match his physique and a profound rage. Damn. Alright. He spoke slowly yet decisively. Man, this was uncomfortable. Yeah. You're being threatened to die? Alright. あ、なんでだよ。我々は神不死をしの人間だぞ。さらなかの事情に付き合う必要はない。野里様、そうはいきません。宴の日にいりゃ、野里も、上松も、身車も、樋口も、おっちゃん、その理屈だったら僕も休
乗せられただけし,しかし文句がありゃどこへでも行けけがれで死ぬのが石の山よ So the mist has some sort of corruption thingy that you die from? Hyonosuke she eventually fell silent and Rikako left to get the key. She returned in no time and everyone began leaving. Taking me to a cage? Hello? Anta, Kochida. Everyone went to some hall near the village plaza while Takumi led me elsewhere. We made our way through the tall grass between the buildings. And at a dead end next to the wild trees and a rocky cliff, there was a large cage. It even had a roof and would have passed for a hut with a bit of work. <laughs> What the hell? Well, I guess we don't have a choice. I don't know. 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 I don't yeah, well, that's true, but I feel like it's like some sort of. It has to be some sort of thing they do. I have asked, but he looked pretty irritated, probably because he wanted to get it over with, so I kept my mouth shut. The floor of the cage was mostly gravel, and with the spaces of wheat and other things littered about, there was a vague but very clear scent of beasts. Koko, よさそうだ随分ずぶといなあんたいやだ I should have taken the time to think about what the villagers had said about my strange memories and about how I could get the hell out of here. That was what I wanted to do, but I knew that I'd just kept, just be swept by, swept away by an unproductive spiral of regret if I went down that rabbit hole. I had always been this admirable of a person. Hi, Mr. David Bustamante. Um, right now we're in a we're in quite of a deal, man. Uh, two people died, and now they're having some sort of meeting to discuss about it. And I don't know much about what's going on either. Another thing, for some reason, I felt like I'd spent the entirety of this time just watching the battle. So I decided I'd focus on resting in preparation for what was to come. 